Hey, well, hello, everybody. It looks like fall. It feels like fall, but that doesn't mean that there aren't garage and estate sales. And I certainly found my share this weekend. So stay tuned. I was headed to Bremerton to spend the day with my niece. We went to go see the Jungle Cruise, but I definitely had to stop at some sales beforehand, including this one. He was clearing out an estate, but he was starting with the kitchen. So although you could have furnished a full, probably two kitchens, from everything he had. I only walked away with a couple things. Not that. But these, yes. They were really, really nice. And those. You know, I always like to pick up brass whenever I find it. And then once I got into Bremerton, I decided to make a quick stop at the Bremerton Vintage Flea, which happens every Saturday in downtown Bremerton, Washington. If you're not a reseller, this is an uh, this is actually a great place to come. No matter what your style is, they have a lot of mid-century modern, like those really cute little condiment dishes. Some boho. Lots of decorative items, some industrial linens. I really liked this French flower sack turned into a pillow. I dream of the day when I can find a stack of those somewhere. I thought these were really, really cool. Very steampunk. But my goal in coming to the flea market was to visit this particular seller, Virginia. The name of her business escapes me, but she always gives me the most fantastic deals, like these kitties, which she sold to me for $5. So even though that was priced for five, she gave it to me for three. Everything that I bought there, she gave me, most of them were like 50% off. A 
Look at that flow blue. That was so pretty. And I like that because of the blue enamel on the inside. How to live with a calculating cat. I didn't even notice that. That's funny. I was drawn to that one. I'm not sure why I didn't pick it up. I can't remember now. And I also don't know why I didn't pick up that white poppy with the blue daisies. I did pick up that food dog though. And I think he was my buy of the day. This a very funky carved seahorse. I really like that one. And I thought that was super cool. I had just sold that owl, except that it was, it needed to be restrung in certain areas. So I had to pass it up. Isn't that adorable? I love the little pastel details on this little purse. And then it was Sunday and the fun continued as I picked up my friend Bernie. She's right there in the black. She's been a long time antique dealer. That's how I met her when she owned a store in um, Gig Harbor. Anyways, we were gonna go take a look at a booth for her since she just sold her business and she's already bored. Oh, look at that linen tablecloth. So I did grab that. I think it was $5. So pretty. And I thought that was kind of cool. As were these, this hotel restaurant where those kind of dishes were indestructible because they were made for restaurants. And I thought that was interesting, a perpetual clock. But it was a little rough. Then we were on to the next sale. Sunflowers always sell, so I grabbed that one. And then Bernie grabbed that pile of swizzle sticks and said, you have to buy these. These do really well. I like that kindergarten kindergarten thoughts. So this sale was put on by an artist 
and it was just a lot of fun. It was fun talking to her. I really love these. I don't think I liked the price though, but I thought they were a lot of fun. And she So first up is this super cool, warm, cozy, fleecy style jacket. Um, I rarely buy stuff for myself, but I just had to nab this. The I found this in a garage at a garage sale in Seattle, and she wanted forty dollars. And I don't blame her because she had left the tag on. It's from the loft, and it was a two hundred dollar jacket. But I finally convinced her to sell it to me for thirty dollars, and I absolutely love it. I love the color, and I think it's going to wash really well since I'm really hard on things that are white. So, anyways, I'm super excited about this purchase for myself. So I have a really cool friend whose name is Bernie and she has been a dealer forever and she just recently sold her store. So she came over for lunch uh, last Thursday and I made her tomato soup from scratch, which was absolutely delicious. And then she had brought a pile of scarves. So let me show you which scarves I bought from Bernie. So I got this beautiful silk one so pretty. I so hope that women are going to want to dress up this holiday season and go somewhere. Look at the fringe on this. It's so pretty. I don't know the age on this, but I'm going to say it's probably from the 60s. It does have a tag. And I don't know, maybe maybe it's not quite that old, but it is 100% silk and it's really pretty. And then I also got this one. I am a sucker for velvet. So look at this beautiful, beautiful cut work, silk, silk and velvet scarf. Very pretty. This one, which is just so art to me, it screams kind of art deco. Oh. It's just so pretty with this uh, green, really dark green on the edges and then like this multicolor. I don't know if you can see that, if the camera would do it, will do it justice, but very, very nice. This one is one of my favorites, mostly because it's multicolored and look how beautiful that is. It is so pretty with those roses and all of that color. Oh, it's just lovely, but I've saved the best for last. So this one blew me away. It is not perfect, but it is really, really cool. So do you see that? So I call these atomic cats. So I call them atomic cats uh, because that is a decorating genre for people that are into kind of retro, mid-century modern. And it's those types of like skinny, skinny cats with the little heads. I think this is the coolest scarf I have ever seen. And she gave me a great deal. I bought each of these for $5. Um, and honestly, this one for sure is gonna go online for sale online because anytime I put atomic anything, it pretty much sells like within a day or so. So I know this one's gonna go super fast. So I had no intention to do any garage sailing on Friday, but of course I saw a garage sale sign and I, you know, beelined it straight there. And it just happened to be at a house that I went to uh, just a couple months ago, they had a garage sale, but this was more of a fundraiser and they had all new stuff. So let me show you what I got. I got this beautiful Florentine box, probably from the 60s. If you're not familiar with Florentine, I'm sure you've probably seen it. It's kind of this like gold lacquered and it always has other colors. It's a it's very much an, of an Italian design and specifically an Italian design and uh, craft 
that is made in Florence, Italy. So whenever you see this now, um, and a lot of times it'll actually say made in Florence, Italy. So this is an unusual one. It's probably like a little trinket tray, I would say. And then you could put other things in here, maybe jewelry. And uh, I'll probably put this online for $25. The other item that I got there, I only paid $4 for this one, and it is this beautiful brocade throw. I think it's, I think it's like a bedspread. And if it is, I do not know what size it is, but it is very beautiful. It's heavy. It's really well made. Again, I only paid $4 for it. This for sure, I'll list online. You know, you could use it as a tablecloth and, or as a bedspread. And I will probably put uh, maybe $65 because it is really well made and it's an absolutely amazing shape. I also picked up this little petite, and I'm gonna say this is Fiesta. And I cannot quite see, oh yes. So this is a piece of Fiesta wear. And this one was only a dollar. It's really pretty, it's really petite. So it's like an individual teapot. So I'm not quite sure yet if I'll list this online. I get the feeling there's probably a lot of Fiesta teapots online. And then the last item I picked up at the only sale I went to on Friday is this beautiful floral painting. It is not old. And I can tell that, well, it even says, I think it says 1980, but I can tell it's not old, but the frame is really pretty. And the painting is actually really well done, really beautiful. Um, on this one, I will probably put this online. Yesterday, I made my way to um, Bremerton, but one of the, reasons I wanted to go. Well, number one, I wanted to take my niece to the movies. So we went to go see Jungle Cruise. It was so cute. The rock is in it. And oh, I can't remember what her name is, but she was, she played in the uh, Devil Wears Prada and she's really a great actress and her name just escapes me. But it was really a cute movie and it was perfect. Like if you want to take your family, it was nice to actually be in a movie theater. I think it's been like two years since I've been in one. But on the way there, I stopped at a garage sale and then I also stopped at the Bremerton Flea Market. So this is what I got at the garage sale. I got a set, I think there was 12 of them and it was a kind of a variety pack. This one's like super dirty, but I got these amber glasses, barware. Um, they have very heavy bottoms. The man who looked to be, I don't know, maybe like 50, said he remembers these being in his mom's house when he was a little kid in the 60s. So really cool looking. And these will go to the store and I have, I don't even remember how many there is of each one, but I'll probably price them by style. And then at that same sale, I got these little, really cool little like shot glasses. They are brass and then with a glass insert. Aren't these really pretty? There was six of them. I paid $3 for this set and $3 for all of that amber glass. And these ones look to be Indian and I don't know, they're not that old, maybe from the 80s. I think, I mean, the thing about brass is oftentimes it's hard to tell like brass ages. And so you could buy brass today and a year from now, it'll have patina. So a lot of times it's really hard to date brass, but I don't know. I don't know. It could be, they could be from the sixties or they could be from the eighties. So at the Bremerton Flea Market, I have a favorite seller who always gives me an amazing deal on things. So take a look at what I paid for these particular items. I got this amazing landscape. Is that not pretty? Yes, it does have damage. But the more I look at it, the more I really love it. I love the colors. I love the 
paint strokes, the paintbrush strokes. Um, it is super pretty. It is an, it's old. You can see on the back. I only paid $5 for this. Uh, the other piece of art that I got there is this one. It's a sailing ship and it's done with what looks like balsa wood and it's just very lightweight but I, wouldn't that look really cool in a bathroom i love the colors um i don't think this is very old but it's really well done i paid ten dollars for this seahorse <laughs> he's super cool i really like him i looked at him and looked at him and I, then i'm like you know what if I like them, somebody else is going to like them. So he doesn't have a hanger, but I know I have a hanger somewhere. I ordered some and then I can't remember where I put them. But I paid $10 for him. I'm going to go ahead and list him online and I'm going to look for comps. But I think he's probably one of a kind, so that may be a little difficult. The other item that I bought um, at that particular stall is this needlepoint pillow so i am not even joking um i'm constantly on the hunt for needlepoint pillows similar to this because whenever i've had one they have sold within a week so this one i paid a little bit more than i'm used to paying i think i paid eight dollars it's super pretty it's a bouquet of flowers and then it's velvet on the back um, so I'll probably put $35 and I know it's going to sell really quickly. I also bought this beautiful, beautiful beaded purse. Isn't that pretty? It's dainty. It's got a little handle. It's so cute. I can't remember what I paid for it. It says $15, but I feel like I only paid five so it's really pretty um i will probably take this one to the store and put maybe like 45 dollars on it last but not least at that stall and remember i was talking about um, atomic kitties and it's funny because now i'm looking at these and they are not a set but <laughs> It's like, I thought it was like a mom kitty and a baby kitty, but they're completely different. If you look at the faces, they're not the same carving. So I got these both for $5. I think this is still more of an atomic cat because he has kind of that triangular head on the smaller side. This one is just cute as can be. Look at how adorable that little kitty is. <laughs> this one will probably go to the store. So after we went to the movies yesterday, I couldn't resist a stroll through Goodwill since we were so close. And um, I'm glad I did because I actually got a ton of stuff, um, clothing really that was 50% off because it was pink tag day. Um, and then I got a couple items to show you. I typically, I try not to pick up new items. I know I picked up that food dog, but that food dog was a little unusual, but I try to stay away from things that are new. But I saw these plates and I thought they were so pretty. And I decided that while I was in the store, I would check comps on them. So this is a rose toile for American Atelier. And when I looked at the comps, I was surprised to see that on the replacement site, these were running $29.95. But even on all the other sites, the comps were really good on these. Um, these were $5.99 for four plates and there was eight of them. So I paid $12 for eight. I'm gonna sell them individually um, with, uh, you know, you could buy up to eight plates, I guess, right? But I'm gonna sell them individually and I'm gonna price them at $25 a piece. I also picked these up. So 
what attracted me to these was just that orange pattern with a bird on it. They really have a 70s feel to them with this smoky brown glass. And I think the prices at the Goodwill, I think are like 69 cents per glass. So I picked up eight of these at 69 cents a piece. So I spent today with my friend Bernie and we went to go visit this new antique mall called Lander Street Antiques in Seattle. And even though I'm in the business now, I still love to go and see what other people pick up and how they merchandise their spaces or their stores. It just inspires me to keep on hunting and picking. And sometimes I get some really good ideas and I always learn a lot about what other people are pricing the items that they find. And so um, before we got there though, uh, we stopped at a couple garage sales and Bernie, she was a great wing woman, found me this fabulous leather hand-tooled purse at one of them. It's the same place I got my fleecy jacket. It is so cool. I am... Um, I always say yes to hand-tooled purses. This is really a great one with lots of patina. And then I forgot that there's something in this. Um, I will probably price this one at um, $65 and I will put it online. And then she nabbed these. She's like, you have to buy these. You have to buy these. So they're swizzle sticks. And so it's a pile of swizzle sticks. And at the very end, they have a little whistle. So like, so let's see, I got seven of them. I wanna say I got eight. I only see seven. Um, so according to Bernie, these are from the 1950s. I'm thinking they're more probably the 1960s because by the look of the whistle. Um, and I will sell these as a lot um, and I will put them online. And I'm not sure what swizzle sticks are going for, um, but they're kind of a fun addition to a bar. I also picked up this fun little top. It's a little crop top from the 60s. It's got a zippered back. And when I was telling the girl, I told her I had a little shop in Polsbo and that I could just see this teenager who, you know, with a little tiny waist and flat belly that uh, somebody like that would pick this up and it would look so cute with like a pair of jeans and a cool belt. Um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. A lot of times I'll post things on Instagram before they ever make it on the video and sometimes they don't even make it on the video. Well, that's it for me. I hope that you guys are having a wonderful October so far and that if you get out to do some hunting and picking that the thrifting gods are with you and that you find some fabulous stuff and I will see you next week.